Hi everybody, welcome back to the Aaron Space. We took a drive today down to one of my favorite spots um, on the East Coast. We are in Mystic, Connecticut. We're about to walk up and over the bridge, check out some of the cute shops and stops. Oh, bells are going off. I love it. It was super snowy yesterday and now today, I don't even have my scarf. I'm not fully winterized today because it's really nice out. But yeah, Mystic is one of the oldest cities on the East Coast. So it's also one of my favorites. We're gonna take up, walk up here on Main Street, go across the drawbridge. It has one of our favorite candy shops here we're gonna go into. One of our favorite bookshops we're gonna go into. And just uh, kind of have a nice little chill afternoon. And then we're gonna go have lunch at one of our favorite restaurants of all time, the Dog Watch Cafe. So thanks so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Please go ahead and, you know what those noises are by now. Please like and subscribe. We're doing so good getting over to our 100 subscription count. Thank you so much for being here. Let us go adventure around in one of my favorite cities of all time, Mystic, Connecticut. Let's go. This is one of the oldest operating drawbridges in the country as well. And I have been here on days where it is operating, where you, it pulls up and you see the boats coming in and out from underneath it. And today, we just got cars going over it, but it's still pretty cool. Mystic Drawbridge, oh, there's an ice cream shop right there. Now, I always thought to this little street right here, it feels like you could be on the back lot at Universal Studios, except it's real. <laughs> We're crossing the Mystic River. Oh my gosh, and look. That's for St. Patrick's Day. Oh yeah, look. These are the weights for the drawbridge. They're just like giant pieces of cement that pull the bridge down. Some guy working on his boat. I love it. Love to see it. Mystic Drawbridge ice cream. Oh, it's just so cute. I just adore this street. First little stop here, Mystic Sweets and Ice Cream. Oh, they have some of the best fudge around. Let's go in and uh, see what we can get. It's a chocolatier. Let's see what we got to offer in here. Oh, the fudge looks amazing. Everything looks amazing. Hot cocoa, cappuccinos. And then one more. To make your pound if you want a pound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you want? We're getting a pound of fudge. Sea captain. What flavors did you get, Dad? Uh, we get, uh, I don't know. Oh, look at that. I want of those anyway. Maple walnut? Walnut. We get a chocolate walnut. Oh, looks good. Plain chocolate fudge. Look at that fudge. Oreo. Yeah, yeah. It's good, huh? Dark salted caramel. You make it right here. Chocolate chip. Oh, yeah, this looks good. Butter pecan. We're gonna have to do a taste test of this in a after lunch. I know, it's so cute. You ready to boil your water over here? I don't think so. Let's get the homemade fudge. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. So fudge was acquired from the handcrafted Mystic, Mystic Sweets and Ice Cream by the actual fudge maker. We were talking with her. We saw her ourselves just now when we walked in there. So across the street here, this building was originally built in 1863. There was a fire and it got rebuilt in 1895, burned down again in 2019 and they rebuilt it, but they built it to match the style of the other buildings here. So it has that like old, old um, East Coast seafaring town look to it. There's some really cool boutique shops all along here. The Steamboat Inn is right here. Always wanted to stay there. We got the Black Dog. This is from Martha's Vineyard, but they also have a shop here because uh, Mystic has a very 
Martha's Vineyard feel to it. But yeah, it just feels like you're uh, walking on a movie set, <laughs> except it's real life. So we're walking down the street of this really cute, pretty, beautiful uh, New England town. And in the window right here <laughs> is the Schitt's Creek family. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Oh, Rosebud Motel. So yeah, even in the most New Englandy of New England places, Schitt's Creek prevails. Mystic, I would say, is one of my favorite towns. Uh, whenever I come home from Los Angeles to visit with my family, I always make a request that we come down to Mystic and so we can just come down and walk around and check out all the cool stuff that they have because I absolutely love it. We won't be here for the Mystic Irish Parade, but I bet that's pretty wild and awesome and I wish I could be here. Oh, and we found our next destination, the Banks Square Books. We're about to go in here. It's one of my favorite bookstores on the planet. And a little bit further up is where we finally see, it's probably not what you think it would look like. This is still part of the bookstore here. We're gonna go in. Also, please don't climb the whale. But right up the street is Mystic Pizza from the Julia Roberts movie, Mystic Pizza. All right, so let us go in and check out Bank Square Books. What does this say? Buy books from people who want to sell books, not colonize the moon. Don't box out bookstores, because you know why? It's an independent bookstore. We love an independent bookstore. Uh, yeah, let's go in. can't escape Hollywood no matter where I go, even in an independent bookstore in Mystic, Connecticut. <laughs> Are you gonna get it? No. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Purchase something from an independent bookstore. I had tried to purchase an actual book from the independent bookstore, but the pages were all messed up. When you flip through, they got bound all weird and they're all bent in the middle. And they had one copy. It was of Adelia Owens book, not the crawdad one, a different one. And it looked really cool and interesting. And I couldn't get it because the pages were messed up, but it's okay. We still got this. Mr. Pizza is right at the end of this little street that we just walked down that we bought our fudge on, that we tried to buy our book on, but got a cool sticker on. And um, yeah, once you kind of like cross past Mr. Pizza, all these little boutique shops and restaurants are here. And then the drawbridge is at the other side of Mr. Pizza. Oh, and they're gonna have that St. Patrick's Day Parade. That's gonna be really good. It's our bookstore. And just everywhere you go, because it's the East Coast and New England, you see lobsters. Every place on the street also looks super yummy and delicious to eat at. Look at this donut shop. But what we have in store for lunch is my favorite restaurant on the East Coast, the Dog Watch Cafe, which is right on the water. It's a real treat. So um, we're gonna walk back down this little street here, head back to the car, jump in, and we're gonna go over and have ourselves a true New England lunch on the water. Let's go. We checked out our independent bookstore. I supported by buying a sticker. I tried to support more, but you know, we had issues. And now we're going back in the car, the rental, to head over for the most amazing lunch ever.
talk about a backdrop. We got a giant, my car, that's my car, and that's a giant boat in, in the dry dock. You would never know that this place is gonna be li literally the best seafood restaurant around. Because right now it looks like we're just parked in a giant, um, what do you call it, like a port. It literally looks like we're just parked where somewhere where fishing boats would come in and tie themselves up. And, uh, you know, maybe if you had a cooler, you could come down and buy some fish, but it does not look like the meal that we're about to get. While you're here getting your lunch, you can also pick up a yacht, Stonington Yacht Sales. We should see what's for sale afterwards. See if there's anything we can afford. And here it is, the Dog Watch Cafe. My favorite, favoritest restaurant to eat at when I come home to visit my family on the East Coast. Uh, that's my boat. Sign me up for that boat. Dog watch. You are in for a treat. Appetizer show. Oh, 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 holy cow. Holy guacamole. Clams Casino. Those look so good. And I got my chowder with a little uh, Dog Watch Cafe peppercorn on top. Alright, which one's going in me? In, get in my belly. Take this guy right here. Oh man. This just looks so oh, good. God. Look at it. Oh my God, they're so good. Thank you. And that's the aftermath. Before and after. Nothing. Nothing. My butter is still. My butter and olive oil is still bubbling. I got the I got baked broiled scallops, some onion rings to get the salmon sandwich over here with a nice salad. Ooh, that's so good! And then the star of the show, a giant lobster roll. I got it! I got it! Oh, we're about to feast, y'all! Montauk vibe. This gives us Montauk vibes all the way, all the way. Love it. It's the name of this place. Sliding doors. Oh, but we have an open one and we're still right on the docks. <laughs> I 
I love this place so much. Meet Rosie. Former the Rosie was resting from a New Orleans rooftop. Do I watch a van tell her? Oh, her passing, but 2018. She's the inspiration for the Rooftop Rosie Fund. So everyone that's watching this, let's all go to <laughs> rooftoprosie.com and buy a shirt and help a dog. I'm gonna buy a hat on my way out. So there's where we just had lunch and it was delicious and yummy and fantastic. You can also sit out here in the summertime. And here is where actually in the summertime, the boats will pull up and dock and people will come right in and have lunch where we just had lunch. So that was as delicious as always. And then on the way out, I bought a hat. And I'll put the website in the description below if you wanna check out any of this merch. All of the proceeds go to help, um, I'll put information about that too, but it goes to help basically a dog fund. So it's a win-win. And now we're just outside and it's a gorgeous day. The docks are behind me. I'm happy. This is my happy place. Thanks so much for joining us. I really appreciate it. We had a great day walking around Mystic. We bought some fudge, got to go through an independent bookstore, which is always one of my favorite things to do. Had lunch at my favorite restaurant in New England, the Dog Watch Cafe. Got this really cute, cool hat. Got some bumper stickers. Had an amazing seafood lunch. And now just kind of like chilling here at the docks. It was a great day. Thanks so much for joining. I really appreciate it and I'll catch ya in space. Bye!